In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can easily shape eyebrows in Photoshop. So basically, in this special tutorial, I'll show you guys how we can use Photoshop to draw or shape eyebrows the way makeup artists do. So you're just going to be makeup artists in this tutorial, but this time around using Photoshop. Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. And a brief reminder, don't forget to like this video. Let me just give you a moment to hit the like button because... In this tutorial, you're going to be learning the best technique ever. So, let me show you guys what you're going to be doing. So, a moment, just like this video. And when you're done, let's kick in and we see. This was the image initially before. You can see her eyebrows. They are looking good, I should say. But we just want to make them look a little bit better. So, this is the before and after. So, this is what we're going to be achieving in this specific tutorial. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to delete this. So what you have to take into consideration is knowing how to use the pen tool because that is what we are going to be using to shape or draw the shape of the eyebrows that we want to be effective in this specific tutorial. So the very first thing we have to do is come into the background layer rather and hit Ctrl or Command J to make this copy from the background layer. Or you can alternatively move and drop it right here and we're just going to name this eyebrow so after doing that you can hit p for the pen tool and this is the pen tool or you can simply come right here and select it and after selecting it we're just going to zoom in right now and when you zoom in you can see the edges where the eyebrow is trying to pass so you're just going to be mimicking this specific line and drawing that shape for our eyebrow so we're just going to start making points by simply left clicking just like that to make a point and move to another point so i'm just going to be doing this a little bit in a rough way because i don't want us to take a lot of time trying to make a selection or drawing at this shape so you can see right now and right here on the extreme end what you're going to do we're just going to move it down in this kind of slanting format and you're just going to move back so hit command z if at all you feel like the point you made is not okay to undo and you're just going to be moving it just like that so we're just basically following uh, the line of the eyebrow so when you reach on this edge make sure that you also slant it so this corner has to be slanting because this is going to be like in this format because you have to join this to this last point right there I'm just going to make one more point right there and i'm just going to move down just like that until i feel like this is the best selection i could make so I'm just going to right click in this selection and I'm just going to come to make selection. And I'm going to clip the feathering radius at 4 pixels. Make sure ant alias is checked right here and simply hit OK. So you can see that this is the shape for the eyebrow. This is for the left eyebrow right here. Then we want to do the same selection for this other right eyebrow right there. So like this, the way this is shaped right here. We have to do the same because we have to follow the shape of the nose. So meaning this eyebrow right here is going to have a shape moving like in this uh, direction. So I'm just going to make these points. One. I'm just going to make the second point right there. And one last point. I'm just going to draw again. So don't mind if at all you don't select other hairs from the eyebrow just do that and you're just going to move it out just like that and make a point so make sure every end point is on the end point of the eye just like this so we have to stop at this particular point and just make one more point so we have to move it up right now just like that so i'm basically trying to I make a somewhat rough uh, selection because I don't want to be perfect in this tutorial and I don't want to spend 
so much time trying to uh, draw the eyebrow. So hit command Z if at all you do or you make a mistake. So I'm just going to draw it just like that. And I'm going to simply uh, right click. And I'm going to come right here to make selection. And feathering is 4 pixels. And this time around just come and select add to selection. Because we want to activate both the selections. And come and simply hit OK right here. And you can see right now we have now activated or made the shape for the eyebrows in this case. And after doing that, what we have to do next is simply, I hope you can see this. So the next thing is simply coming and filling out the missing parts of the hair. As you can see, if at all I'm to zoom in, you can see that we have some spaces right here. So just want to fill them in. And the technique we are going to be using is going to be using by, uh, the clone stamp tool to fill in these parts or missing parts of uh, the hairs in the eyebrow area. So just come to the clone stamp tool and the opacity and the flow are going to be at 100%. But the settings for the clone stamp tool, I'm just going to right click. The hardness is around 39. So I'm just going to hit enter. So just want to copy and paste so make sure you copy and paste to the area close to the space where you want to fill so in order to copy for example these hairs right here i'm just going to come right here and hold down the alternate and click to copy so alternate you hold it down left click right that copy and simply left click on the space that you want to fill so I'm just going to be doing that and you can see that we are filling these empty spaces in the eyebrows. So I'm just going to increase on the size by using the brackets on the keyboard and simply coming and painting at filling at these gaps in the eyebrow area. So just come and do that. So you have to take your time while filling up these uh, spaces because every single time that you tend to rush while trying to maybe fix something I feel like this is a little bit awkward or weird so I'm just going to undo, undo most of the selection and I'm just going to come to these other areas and just try to copy and paste just like that and you can see that it is keeping up uh, with the pattern of the hairs in the eyebrows and just come just going to copy and paste just like that so reduce on the size and since we have a selection when you reach on a smaller area you're going to be able to do this but I feel like it is a little bit soft so I'm, I'm just going to right click and I turn my hardness a little bit up to around 80 and continue copying and pasting uh, the hairs in the eyebrows so since we made a selection we can't paste out of uh, this selection in this case just come and you have to take your time while doing this because when you tend to uh, rush through you're not going to be able to get the best uh, results from uh, fixing or making or drawing this eyebrow in this case so I feel like that brush is a little bit hard so I'm just going to come back and right click and reduce it slightly to around 27 because I feel like it is really applying a very and I'm just going to come and reduce on the flow a little bit to around 82 and come and alternate to copy and continue pasting just like that and you can set while using a smaller brush, you can fill up the tiniest uh, bits in the eyebrows. So this is for the left eyebrow. And I know this is a little bit time consuming. But if at all you want to uh, get it done in Photoshop, you really have to uh, take your time. I feel like this pattern is a little bit repeated. So I'm just going to copy and eliminate that. 
So let's see what we have so far. Zoom out. And I think it is really getting better. I'm just going to try to click and increase the hardness slightly to 40 because I want to fill up uh, these areas right there. So just take your time while doing this. And I guarantee like at the end of the tutorial, you're going to be having the best results from uh, this tutorial. So if at all you feel like you're comfortable with this, it is fine. You can stop right there and come to this other eyebrow and simply alternate and paste just like that. So we're just going to paste just like that so that we can mimic uh, the pencil outline for uh, the makeup artist. So let's just do that. Copy and paste, just simple, nice and easy. So you can see that we're just trying to fill up uh, these missing hairs. And I think that looks fine. Just try to fill up these areas. Just going to copy and paste. So make sure that every pattern this side is almost the same. Or you can otherwise try to copy uh, the eyebrow and paste it to the opposite end. That would be a better option. But I just want to show you maybe a more easy technique for even a beginner out there to follow along. So I think this looks fine. I'm just going to copy and fill up that. So you can see what we have so far. We have just tried to fill up this. Then I feel like we still have a little bit of something right here which looks a little bit awkward. So what I'm going to do, I could try and copy from this particular area and just try to paste and copy here. Let me just paste those right there. And I think that looks a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert this selection so that I can remove these other hairs that are outside the eyebrow. So I'm just going to come to this rectangular marker tool and select it. And right click and come to select inverse so that I can select the opposite of the eyebrows and get whichever tool that you want to use to remove these other hairs that are outside the eyebrow so that we can have a really nice and perfect shape for the eyebrow just like that just come and do this so i'm just trying to do a rough thing because i want to show you guys how this is done and i don't want this to be a pretty long tutorial at the end of uh, the day so just come and remove this other, just clean the outline of the eyebrow. So you can as well come back to a clone stamp tool and just sample right here. And you can paint close to the eyebrow to make sure that we have a very nice and beautiful eyebrow surrounding. So I'm just going to be using a combination of the spot healing brush tool and the clone stamp tool to clean up at the edges of the eyebrow just like that I'm just going to do this and it's going to take some time i should say so let's just clean up this because this is going to determine the overall result for our cleanup or for our eyebrow so you can see that i've just eliminated those hairs that were out of uh, the eyebrow selection so that it can mimic that nice of uh, that pencil like I don't know what it is called so let's just do this and clean up these areas then I'm going to, I'm going to come back to the clone stamp tool and sample and just replace these areas just like that and I feel like uh, we have done a pretty nice job right there so I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to invert this again by hitting the rectangular marquee tool and right clicking and I'm going to select the inverse and 
I'll have my selection back. So we just want to slightly darken the eyebrows a little bit more. So I'm just going to get, come to my burn tool and make sure the range is mid-tones, exposure at around 11. And of course I want to protect the tone, so make sure that this is checked. I'm just going to darken the areas I feel are light in the eyebrow area. So I'm just going to paint just like that to darken those areas I feel are a little bit light in the eyebrow area. So just come and darken those areas just like that. And you can see that we are getting results that are really close to uh, perfect. So I'm just going to come and darken those edges. And I think uh, this really looks nice. It's the before and after, before, after. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly so that I can use the band tool to fill up these tiny spaces in the eyebrows so that it can look a little bit unnatural and a little bit professional in this case. So I'm just going to do that. So I think that looks fine. So I feel like we still have some tiny hairs. I'm just going to come back here and I'm going to uh, select the inverse and get back to my spot healing brush tool and make sure that I clean the surrounding area of the eyebrow just like that so that we can have a really nice and more professional uh, result at the end of this uh, tiresome process I should say so just do that and eliminate this right there we have a protruding line so let me just do that and I guarantee at the end of this you're going to look at an image that looks really nice and beautiful so when you feel like uh, it is all done and you're comfortable with what you have done with the eyebrows you can simply hit Control or command D to deselect what you have been doing so let's see the before and after before after I hope you can really see how nice the results are and when you feel like uh, the effect or the opacity of the eyebrow is too much for your liking you can simply come and drop down or reduce on the opacity just like that and that's the before after before after and this is how to draw eyebrows in Photoshop using just simple techniques and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video so that YouTube can push it to more people out there Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.